Go if you want. All right. Hello, nephews, nieces, and anyone else that's listening. Uh, this is my second attempt to record for Mass Effect Andromeda. Through Ungarn space. Thank you for trusting me. Uh, yeah, so I don't. This is a but reviled game among the internet. In um, a and lot of it was for technical glitches that I haven't run into a lot of, uh, although recording seems to have been one of them. So there I've is that. My analysis of Aya. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Definitely. Whoa! Definitely, oh, just will. no choice in that. You really like, think the motion is alive? Come on, that's. I'm sure. Kind of rude. They're like, we're trying to keep our world secret, and it's just like, oh yeah, we'll go ahead and just send that right off. Uh, is... <laughs> I'm, I'm getting a little more negative and angry since it screwed up my first attempt at recording. That's... So, gonna be gonna be harsh, and it's kind of sad because Mass Effect Andromeda. The last thing it needs in its life is another harsh review. Um, I'm just saying, as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. Well, that's true. Last aliens Only we slightly. found just started shooting yeah, at us. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed. Whatever he eats. Did the translators not work? They work. Come on, everyone. Can we just so, all yeah, I've talked about the Mass Effect series before. Uh, Begging. Good writing. Interesting strategy. Uh, particularly, Ryder, they often have strong dialogue. Now we don't even and have that. they're often very good at making the John dialogue choices matter and have impact on how, do we do that when how you play the, the game it's on. and what That's kind of things happen. a fair point. Jal? Seriously. Settle down. Ryder's right. There's an Angara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. Did it? Yeah? I, I missed the question. What are we asking him? One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. Wow, they declared war? For 80 years. Nothing so easy to define or fight. The cat kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Yeah, so sure, right before I'll I started recording, they went over long, this. But like, that's no plan. This, this one of these I things, I've gotten one or we two things. This game writer. seems a little more handholdy. Our own mission has uh, to take priority. It seems priority. like a lot of the dialogue is a little more like, let we me just repeat what I kind already of. said. Pretty because solid. I'm sure Joel? you are too Resistance stupid to understand it. Thin. I was it's tasked kind with of insulting, to and you know the previous Mass Effect games didn't do that. They morning. they let you miss and things. They let me. you miss details. They let you because, not understand things because you weren't paying attention. Ephra will see and you, you know, as paying attention and giving you want that the benefit of the Jones doubt to audience audiences. Havarl I think that's Vold. what pays off. I think that's Before what lets you build a strong story. Like when you just spell things out for people. Uh, it ends up getting boring if people are keeping life. up at all. And now? <sighs> so it's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Uh, so yeah, that gets a our little disappointing. I, I do feel like the writing has slipped a little in Mass Effect Andromeda. What about the other? Of all, the it, it's a pretty good concept, saying that you know this is a part of the Andromeda Initiative. To to uh, the first Mass wild, Effect trilogy dangerous. had huge galaxy-sweeping changes and events happen now we're in the Milky Way. And We've so, recently you know, finding a way to acknowledge and kind of tie in with all of that Still for the next game, uh, particularly us. after Mass Effect 3, would have been difficult. Help us, or and the idea of just, okay, it all happens right? in the Andromeda because Galaxy. It's a different galaxy, and it focuses Pathfinder, on how the colonization call. efforts for that galaxy go. Do, do, do. Uh, thanks. Thanks for love. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I, I'm not going to romance him. Uh, d -d 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 I will think about Let it. Let me weigh the options. I'll let you know. We'll be ready. Whatever you decide. Jal, give Kala the nav points for both planets. Let's do this. 
Oh, we got... Oh, shoot. There's two planets. I need to choose which visit, and I totally don't know which one. Oh, full roster. Is that the last crew member to recruit? Man, that filled up the crew quickly. I mean, I guess the, I guess the Mass Effect has done better at developing characters than having a million and one characters. Uh, but, you know, that's still a little... Uh, I don't know, that, that feels quick for some reason. Hey! Yeah! Minerals! Da -da -da. All right. I can't wait for my first session with Jarl. Try not to scare him away, huh? Strike team missions. That's how you do the multiplayer, uh, which I won't do because I don't. <laughs> I don't need any multiplayer in my life. Da -da -da. Got all the research. Any cool guns I can build? Ooh, I can build a level two assault rifle, which. Uh, maybe I do want actually less accurate but better in a lot of ways than the one I got now uh, I don't yeah let me oh, can I put an augmentation in there Duh -duh -duh. Eh, nothing good yeah go ahead and craft one isn't this an observer too Pinter Observer 2. Yeah, it's the Observer 2. There we go. Yay! Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, setting it in the Milky Way Galaxy, uh, or setting it in the Andromeda Galaxy so that we can kind of not worry too much about some of the things that happened in the Milky Way galaxy in the previous games. Good idea. Solid idea on how to build a uh, how to build a sequel that brings a lot of the same you know, Bring characters and aliens and ah, story type of things. Gotcha. Do I need to get Lexi to do a psych review? <laughs> Maybe. People just dealing with some scourge issues. That Archon fella tried to warn you not to joyride it. It was an act first, think later move. <sighs> hey. Poker. Card game. Bluffing. Betting. It's an age-old measure. Used to think maybe it was my calling. Turns out I'm just good at it. Never lost, heads up. We should play sometime. I hear oh, there's a strip version. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was so, that turned uh, out to be very flirtatious. I strip poker. <laughs> Got it. More than happy to take your money and next time we pulled up and you're in the mood. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, anyway, yeah. So this is one of these things that I could have had in that previous recording if that was. If that didn't totally screw up. Uh, but the interesting thing about so, the Jaw. Mass Effect games is that a lot of it so, is a lot of the a engagement comes from the good writing and here? particularly from the it. dialogue it feels and character interactions. The and that's, they are, you are aliens. And you're alien to us, and, so you know that's something there. I really respect about the Mass Effect games. I, I love uh, that they have such strong writing, Place have such start. compelling worlds and Got characters. Uh, Perhaps it does make them a little hard to record a video aliens. over, because what so much of it is of oh, I'm getting in these conversations, and then I kind of just want to no let the dialogue us, play. But you signed and up to help us anyway. Perhaps it had nothing to do with you. What they're talking about. Care to elaborate? Whatnot. I do not. So, this is just kind of an introduction. I just met this dude. Uh, How do you know we, Moshe Sefa? I guess we kind of accidentally invaded his planet. So. <laughs> I was his student. Uh, really cool of he him to just be like, hey, too. I'll join up and help you out. <laughs> and you I was next terrible. Thing. I quit. Or oh, she works. threw me out. One of those. We're still very close. Did you just say he has a wife? So, See, is that your rifle? Thing. Like, it's interesting enough, I don't want to miss it. I it don't. is now. 
It's cat. With my own modifications. Uh, I like to tinker, cool. to get my hands on something. Yeah, like that? Gotta tinker. Take it apart. That's a skill I know we can use. But I have one request. Please don't take apart my ship. <laughs> Good advice. Mm. You're right. I signed up. Uh, volunteered for this. It's uh, exciting. There's something unique about you. Face value? That You're sounds like a compliment. Me already? A nice uh, one. Like, it is. I thought he just said he had a white I've got to feel deeply. We have <laughs> more trouble hiding our emotions than showing them. I should get back to my work. What is that? When we have downtime, I'd love to... Sure. Um, no. Just us. So we can get to know each other better, or just share a hobby. All right. Well, oh. the baby's awake, so I better of wrap course. it up for now. Good. Uh, we'll Good. see if I can get more later, or if I even want to. See you guys. Okay. So, hello. I get, uh, well, I'm continuing here. I guess I don't have to give the whole intro. Still playing some Mass Effect Andromeda, and we'll see how it goes. I wanted to jump in here because I was, you know, doing the traveling around space thing that you do, and I was just going, there is something really good to say that this is just gorgeous. I mean, we just flew by that comet, and that's really cool, and we've got all these really gorgeous nebula pictures. And the movement, although it, it gets a little tedious, kind of just Anomaly having that detected. movement show up for everywhere you go and every time you want to go explore a planet to scan scan or anything, it, it is still something. just a gorgeous game, and it does it does give a it does give a really cool sense of. Did I get anything? Can I land? But yeah, it does give a really sense, a really good sense of this is a beautiful, you know, big universe with all kinds of fascinating things to explore. And and it just it does look good. I mean, the rings on this planet, it's uh, yeah, it just it is it is a good looking game. Um, when it's not having horrible game breaking uh, visual glitches, which again I haven't seen that many of, probably because I'm playing it a long time after it came out. I did have one moment where it looked like a character might have done the uh, T pose bug for a second there and then returned to normal. And, um, but, uh, can't say exactly how much that's true or represents uh, or, or if it's just kind of I'm looking for a problem or what exactly was going on there but yeah there's there there probably is something screwy um, especially that's to see that or something like that alright so here we go I'm going to land um, finally going to have a little combat mission it used to be an Angaran town so, as they're doing the landing here, I'll, uh, you know, talk, ask again how you guys have been Anomaly doing. I hear you have watched some Something of my big, videos. Possibly hostile. That's good Taking to hear. Evasive action. Uh, apparently Richard wants me to Wait. get goofier and weirder. Is... And, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just not actually that goofy of a guy. I can be, though, so maybe we'll see. Um, I have been playing a little uh, saboteur. Well, I'm kind of wrapping up as much as I care about playing this game. And uh, it is not well optimized and has some real problems well, with the that's something you gamepad don't see back interface. Home. So maybe I will just play some and record it and show it off to you guys in all its weird game-breaking buggy glory. And maybe that'll end Bringing up because everything just looks weird. Spin around. 
wobble back and forth. Who knows? So yeah, you know, uh, yeah, Mari mentioned that you guys got the, you, you have the new dog and the, the new little puppy. I'm sure he's a cute little puppy because most little puppies are cute. And that is fine. I am, I'm not a big uh, animal lover. I don't, I'm not really into owning pets. So, uh, I will meet you, at you know, the hey, if, if you guys are into it, more power to you. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's not something I'm this blows crazy away. about. There's a vault here and it's working. I wonder yeah. why it didn't show up on the map in EOS. But uh, yeah, you know, don't. <laughs> but yeah, no, you know, no. You know, can't not gonna criticize anyone else for liking liking it. So anyway, yeah, I hope the little puppy's doing well. Hope you guys are doing a good job taking care of him. Uh, you know, haven't. And I guess this is the thing for me. You know, I go. I, I recognize that having a pet is a big responsibility. You you got to take care of you got to take care of them and make sure you're make sure you're uh, fulfilling your responsibility toward another living thing. And and I go okay. I, so there's all that responsibility. And what do I get out of it? I mean, I can't have a conversation with a dog. Uh, it looks cute, but I can just throw up a picture if all I want is something that looks cute. And yeah, I don't activating automated forward station deployment. So, yeah, but I don't know. I don't know if people can hate me for daring to just not go, oh yeah, puppies are so cute. So so I'm glad you guys are just enjoying yourself and that you have that cute little puppy and hopefully you guys are very happy with it and aren't the aren't the big you know killjoy <laughs> dove's eye witchy about it um, so anyway yeah here we are we're down on the planet um, a lot of this game does have a good exploration aspect to it so going around pick up the sh pick up the sheets like this the little data pads um, talk to I don't know about this Joel it's talk to the people this is them the ones from the other galaxy. Yes. Ryder, Kiran Dahls, lead scientist at Darpanev. Once again, I am kinda, honored to meet you as a representative of the Andromeda game, Initiative. It's, uh, Are you know, all it's so this easy to just want to say, oh, I'm going to listen to the dialogue. I think so. Um, Where's but, the rest you know, of got to be adding something, got to be doing something Ryder interesting has experience with it. With Remnant, so, you might be able yeah, to help you, their investigation. You know, what do you do? You haven't heard? While the team was exploring the monolith, something went terribly wrong. Oh no, they, they got were attacked and I'm going to have to help them. stasis field, frozen in place, unresponsive. Are they still alive? So. Vitals remain steady and neural patterns uh, resemble those exhibited in deep sleep. I wish I knew what I talked sleep. about. You know, I had that, we subjected had that them to broken various one and then it's uh, taking me like a day or two worked. to get back to stream. Let's ride a try. So, She's I don't know the what I've mentioned. But I still also want to talk. Says, what is going on with his cloak? Fish, one will have gems in its mouth. Like, it is just, if you think the alien can help, it's just I'll wiggling around. Where is inside? inside? I the don't think there's not a far from here. See that what you can do. That might be another kind careful. of graphical bug. We don't know what like, triggered the stasis, and it may I, happen I again. I feel like maybe something about the way that his the way that his little cloak thing is supposed to hang there isn't working right. So I heard the advisory that you'd be out here. You didn't prepare me to meet you. The name's Ryder. I'm with the Andromeda Initiative. They say you want to help us. I wonder what you're prepared to do. If it gets me on your good side, that's reassuring. My name is Rash. I study our All ancient right, cultural just, records just for stellar phenomena. I piece together lost. My goal is to find undiscovered. You think there might be? That's what I was trying to learn. Then the I thought my home was destroyed, and. I'm trying to recover my research data, but the wildlife won't let me near my old home. Okay. Your work is too... I'll provide my home's location. I'll remain in contact. All right, if I can get there, great. Da, 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 da. And yeah, you can read the emails. That's fairly interesting to go through. See what people... get. get it, it is kind of weird, like you're just looking at things. And there's a certain, like, 
I am not respecting people's <laughs> privacy at all. <laughs> I'm just reading. It, it was a weird. It was a weird moment, especially being a uh, being a healthcare worker. I had at one point went into the the doctor's office, and uh, you know I could access terminals and do stuff there, and I was like, yeah, like. What? I guess they don't have HIPAA standards in the in the future. Because I place. can just go in and read <sighs> patient records. I guess that you're that alien visitor that came to. You've heard of? Who hasn't? When strange Luge Anson. Listen, if there's nothing you need, could you go away? I'm busy trying to get transport off this cursed planet. I won't bother you further. Very well. So, the new man cannot be called in here. Is there something important? Do I need to scan around here? So the the controller is buzzing here. Uh, I don't think it's giving me any on-screen things. There it is. Okay, scan that. What is it? And something. All right, come on, let's go fight some dudes. So, so this is one of these things, though. You know, Mass Effect has always stood on the writing, and the writing isn't uh, isn't doesn't seem as strong in Andromeda either. Like, there's just and um, so you know, there's some. There's some graphical glitches. Uh, there's the the gameplay. The gameplay works fairly well. Uh, like I said, it looks good, but yeah, the writing just isn't keeping up with the previous entries in the series. And you know, the setup, the whole Andromeda Galaxy thing, uh, works. It's definitely a decent decent uh, idea on how you continue this series after the events in the previous Mass Effect games uh, but yeah the the writing just isn't as strong anymore I mean uh, I, I feel like I, I feel like there's a lot more one note characters now and and that is really disappointing to me um, and uh, you know maybe it would change if I played a little more uh, but, I don't know, I, the more I, you know, it's not kind of one, the, one of these things where in the previous games, you, you had a lot, you, you did want to get, see what was going on with these characters, and, you know, they, they seemed one note, but then you find out the, the deeper aspects of their lives, and you'd find out that there was, there was definitely more going on, and, and I'm just not seeing that happening. It's all, it's all just, hey, we gotta come together. We gotta build the colony and and fight the monsters that are also one-dimensional villains. <laughs> and yeah, it just, it just is. I, I do think it's just not as strong. It's just not as strong. But the combat is not terrible either. And there's given me red dots, which means I can fight something. Yeah, and it does have, you know, the jump jet, so you can do the jumpy thing. Um, I think it wasn't in this one, but I was saying Enemies incoming. it is that I think it's kind of a precursor to the to what we saw in Anthem. Like, Do this hovering thing, which is weird. I think we're done. You know, you can jump up and then hover to to shoot down at your at the bad guys. Oh, a fiery burnt out thing. That probably means it was attacked. Never fear, I'm well, I'm here to go <laughs> pick up the I'm here to go look at your corpses after you've already been killed. Oh no, wait, there's a dude alive! Hey! Hey, not dead dude! How's it going? Don't stay here, visitor. 
It's not safe, and I can't be responsible for you. Oh, oh, Should have warned can't me you were coming. Responsible for me. Yeah, who are you? What are you doing here? I'm the path. Making finder. sure the fires don't get worse. I'm a surveyor, an engineer from the state. I need to divert fuel from the pipes buried here. I'll cut off the flames eventually. What caused these? This die used to be a much larger settlement. Plant roots ruptured an underground fuel pipeline. A stray the spark roots these ruptured fires. a fuel line? That's... I'll get going. Be careful. You too. You just must have been here forever if that happened. Like... I mean, I, I guess that can happen. I mean, root, roots can kind of come in and break stuff, but I don't know. Roots rupturing a fuel line? For some reason, that just doesn't scan for me. Eh, <laughs> scan? Because I got the scanner open? Hey, platinum. Nickel. I don't know how I feel about this picking up minerals from around the... from around the, the mission site. I mean, for one, it does kind of do the, uh, fits, feeds into the, the explore, exploration feeling of, oh, uh, you want to go Be around, you'll pick up the minerals, and, and it, it provides they reason to kind of go looking around, and, shoot on sight. you know, a little something you can Charming. find when you're just kind of looking around, um, but, you know, if you've got the, if you've got, like, the, Automated protocols activated, deploying forward station. If you've got, if you're trying to get, like, the, the mega death gun and you have to just look around for ages to find minerals then I don't know that doesn't sound fun but maybe you uh, maybe you don't need to like maybe uh, you can just kind of buy it once you got enough stuff and so you don't really need to worry about that so all right Are these other enemies just kind of you know, wild, wild dog type of creatures, or is there something more interesting I can fight here? Don't consume anything you see. Not in this area. Wasn't planning on it. Why would I... <laughs> Are, are you thinking I need myself a nice little battlefield snack? Oh yeah, yeah. Don't, don't eat anything. Oh yeah. Thank goodness you, you warned me. now so i guess that's the end of mass effect andromeda the pathfinder died the cat won everyone was destroyed the andromeda galaxy is not safe for any intelligent life the end have a great day